Hello Affinity Designers! Brady at Texture Labs did a great video on using folders in Photoshop for so much more than just collecting objects. In Affinity Designer, groups are the equivalent of folders and most of the same concepts apply, so let's dive in. Moving from the most obvious to the more interesting effects of using groups, we'll just say that to create a group, if you don't already know, select the objects on the uh, stage or in the layers panel and either right click and select the group option or hit command or control G. Once you put objects inside a folder, I'm going to call this one four things, you can rename it and then um, you can turn the, all the objects on simultaneously, a universal off. You can also grab the objects in the group and move them all together. To enter into a group, just double click and then you can single click the objects inside the group. Adding an effect to a group will apply that effect to all items in the group. You hold down Option or Alt when selecting the adjustment options at the bottom of the Layers panel. You can apply that adjustment to the entire group. Any object that you create and then drag into the group will have all the effects and adjustments instantly applied. Finally, you can apply a texture as a mask to an entire collection of objects in a group. In this case, I'm going to drag this thorn bush um, onto a mask that I've applied to the group. Just drag the image on top and to the right of the mask and it'll disappear, <laughs> but that's okay. By selecting the texture and then going to the gear, you can pull up the layer blend options and then just play around with the source layer ranges. The right side adjusts the dark colors in an image and the left side adjusts the light color. You can also click to add points along that curve for finer adjustments. Once you're happy with your texture, you can simply click on that um, texture object and move it around on screen to adjust the placement in relationship to the objects in the group. That's it for this round. If you learned something, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll catch you next time.